welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little mango sale haul. You guys know I love mango as much as the next person, but their stuff does get pricey. And I have found that I only end up really shopping whenever they have a sale now because it sucks, but like it seems like mango always has sales, so there's no point really buying their stuff full price. I grabbed a couple of pieces that were in my shopping cart for a while instantly when I saw that they were having their Mother's Day sale, which is like 30% off the entire site. I believe right now as well too, as this video is going live, they currently have another 30% off sale. It's one of those like spend a minimum of 250 and get 30% off. Honestly guys, just buy whatever you need and then return what you don't want just to meet the minimum limit. But this will be a big one because I ordered quite a few things since I figured let's just use a sale and grab what I need. So let's just go through everything. The main reason I jumped on the sale right away as soon as I saw that it was going live was because they just recently released the Victoria Beckham and Mango collection. And as much as I love the pieces, I was like, oh, is it really worth that price tag? And with 30% off kind of helps. So I grabbed a couple of items, two to be specific. And you know what? I hate the fact that I actually really like them. So I will actually need your help to help me narrow down what I want to keep. First off, what I got was this knit little maxi skirt. It's obviously for the beach. It's really nice. Super thin little waistband at the top here. It sits really nicely on the skin. Very stretchy. The knit detailing is actually really nice. It has like a beautiful pattern on it. And it's kind of cool because the back actually has a train. So I don't know if I love that or not because I know that obviously it's going to get dirty when I wear it on the beach, but it's so nice and long. It looks elegant. It hugs me in all the right places. It's perfect. And it's tight enough at the waist that if I did want to actually pull it up to wear it as like a strapless dress, I could. I just love the fit so much. And I don't know, I'm obsessed. I don't have anything like this. And you guys know I've been looking for a knit dress to get for a while now. Well, a knit skirt. And it's in black, which is really cute. And I just recently returned the other ones that I bought because this one fits so much better. But oh my God, is this expensive? So I need your help to let me know, should I keep this? It is very long and I'm just concerned that it's gonna get dirty that's gonna piss me off and for the price tag I don't know so this is where I need you guys to come in and comment down below and let me know do I keep this skirt or does it go back to mango next up from the collection is a full-length white dress that is also from the Victoria Beckham collection so it is very long and the one reason I bought this was because I love the fact that there's a giant cutout in the back so it is a mesh dress I'm probably not gonna wear this anywhere else except really maybe like a beach a beach club I, mean, I guess because it is a dress in Toronto I could probably wear like some pieces underneath and just put it over top like this is probably the only place I can get away with wearing it like Toronto Miami LA or New York not sure where else I can wear this on a day today unless it's on a beach but I love the long sleeveness of it and it's really nice and tight kind of like long enough to come down to like mid wrist as well which is what I like I don't like when they end too short on my wrist it just looks weird and it is a very much full length maxi dress this one does not have a train but it's nice and long and it clings to my body also perfectly so it's not gonna get as dirty if I was to wear this as a beach a little bit more difficult to put on as a cover up since you do have to maneuver around and there's that giant hole in the back you have to like put your arms through and then pull it over your head I don't know how I feel about it but it fits so nicely so again like do I keep this for the price tag I don't know I love the fit I think it looks really nice it's comfortable it's nice and stretchy it's not too tight and there's a lot of give in the material and I really like the knitting style that they chose for the pattern and the print so I'm on the fence so please again tell me should I keep this dress guy this is another obviously cover-up dress but I think you can wear it out a lot more easier day to day in Toronto it is like a lace dress like this similar to the white one that I just showed you but there's no cutout detailing at all on the back it's just like a simple lace t-shirt top very stretchy cap sleeves I'm not the biggest fan of cap sleeves but I actually saw this on somebody on TikTok and I ran to Mango to add it to my cart because she looks so good so she wore this with I believe a bodysuit underneath it's nice and long it's almost a maxi length that comes down in between like a midi and maxi and it has a giant slit on the side here I obviously need to wear something underneath and it's a lace dress as a opposed to like knit. It gets a little bit more coverage, but still very much very, very see-through. So I saw somebody wear this with a pair of ballet flats and it looked really chic underneath. It's really, really stretchy, but I don't know if I would necessarily wear this on the beach. Like this feels much more like throw on top of a one piece and wear this out and about for a very like chic city look and then throw like a leather jacket on top for some coverage, like really elegant and chic and cool. Very much cool girl vibes, not beachy vibes. So I'm again on the fence about this, but also fits so well. I don't know what it is about this mango collection haul that I bought, but everything fit really nicely. At least the stuff that I've shown you so far. So please let me know again, should I keep this? And if I was to only keep one, because I don't really think I need both, between this one or the other white one, which would you recommend? Leave a comment down below, because I really need your help this time, guys. This dress I've actually had sitting in my cart for quite a while now, and I really loved how it looked on the mannequin, but unfortunately... <sighs> 
it just didn't look the same on me and I had high hopes so the main reason I bought this was because it kind of reminded me of like the Vietnamese ao yai or like the Chinese like chi pao with the collar like a really high mandarin collar and it looked really cute it's white it has scalp detailing around the edges it's like this linen-y material really lightweight super great for summer it has these beautiful embroidered appliques it's not even an applique like it's embroidered through this material it seems like yeah it's been embroidered onto this material it has scalp detailing going down the front here as well and then the inside is like very very lightly lined not anything too crazy so much so that it's just going to give you a little bit more coverage so it doesn't feel like you're wearing a completely sheer dress because it's linen and it has a complete zip on the back here now I thought that I was going to love this dress a lot because I loved how it looked on the model however when I tried it on I didn't realize because it didn't look like this on her but it has all of these little ties coming up the front here which actually distracts you quite a bit from the floral applique in the front here like I like the top one this would have been nice like right at the neck but then there's two more going down the front here that just looks messy after a while that I think they could have done without because even if you undo it it serves no actual functional purpose it's just an aesthetic addition and it just looks messy like there's too much going on here and for a girl that's like flat makes me look even flatter as much as I wanted to like this dress and it fit really nicely and it looked cute on I think it's just really messy in the front so I will be returning this one to mango I had high hopes and it looks so cute I've wanted it for a while but alas it didn't really quite work out vision wise in my head as to how I thought it was gonna look all right this dress was a very very sad disappointment because I also had this sitting in my car for the longest time ever and I saw that the minute it was on sale I want to snatch it up so this is very reminiscent to one of those age age dresses that I've seen in this like pleated material it goes down like asymmetrically in the front of your body one strap has an opening here it zips up on the side that doesn't have the bunched up detailing and it comes down to a beautiful beautiful like green watercolor ish type of gradient and it flows really nicely I find that dresses with iron in pleats like this usually have like a really nice flow to them and I love them it was nice and long fortunately it didn't fit me and I think if I was to size up I also wouldn't like the fit anyways so the issue with this dress is that I couldn't actually even pull up the zip on the side it was just like way too tight and this material is not stretchy at all there is zero give in this and if I was to zip it all the way up I wouldn't be able to breathe I mean I could even zip it up anyway so you're not gonna see it in the cutaway because I'm not able to put it on to any decent level for me to show you what it looks like I'm gonna be returning this unfortunately it's really cute though I thought that this would be a great way for me to snag this type of signature like style and silhouette in this beautiful green color to wear for special occasions since I love green when it comes to color but it doesn't fit and then I noticed that when you wear this dress most of the dye is on one side and it's not on the other side it's actually asymmetrical on the hem as well too so it goes down to one side and when you move around you actually see the interior of the dress and it shows off a completely different color than the exterior if I can show you what this looks like so when you see the interior like this it's significantly lighter than than the dark exterior and it just looks cheap to me because especially it's not lined I think this dress would have done a lot better if it was fully cut symmetrically across the bottom so that when you're moving around you don't see it swishing and the hemline revealing the interior which is unfinished in my mind if you're gonna be paying this much for the dress obviously it's not as expensive as the Victoria Beckham collection but still fairly like, expensive for the average person you should have a finished interior and it just it screams cheap when you look at it so unfortunately number one because it doesn't fit me size wise and number two it just doesn't look great with movement I will be returning this and going back to the original point how I said that I wouldn't even bother sizing up because of the pleats this dress actually creates quite a bit of room in the chest area I'm not well endowed there so already on its own it's really loose and bunchy here that if I was to size up it would look even looser and bunchier and it would just like drag down and look baggy and just wouldn't look cute I would look even more flat chested than I am already so it's going straight back to mango for me your girl has been looking high and low for the perfect string bikini like something really minimal sleek not too much going on so that I can wear it out when I go to a beach and get a nice tan with minimal coverage I thought I found the perfect one at mango first off I saw these bottoms really slim simple silhouette the only really thing going on are these like silver discs here I don't know how I feel about them it might get too hot in the summertime when I'm in direct sunlight but like minimal coverage but sufficient coverage in the front and the back I don't really want like a thong back bikini sometimes just because I want to have something that's giving me a little bit extra coverage I like the simple straps it's not tied on the side so you don't have like dangling straps that are gonna give you like a weird tan so I figured let's just get also the top piece matching so you can have like a whole matching set simple simple black that's all I wanted also got the top here and it's cute very minimal coverage which is exactly what I wanted it goes to the back you can adjust the straps to create what width you want and then you just tie it the only 
only problem that I had with this is that because it's looped on the back and you don't tie it completely, it's difficult to change the length of the strap going over your shoulders. So if you don't have a lot of boobies like me, you end up having a lot of extra space between here and the front and this sags. And when I say minimal coverage, this is minimal. I have tiny boobies, but I don't know who is wearing this because this barely covered my nip. Like I will need fashion tape for this to stick on. It, it just didn't work. And if I was to tie it tighter, it just too much fabric and the string in the top here that it would just let loose and anytime I moved, it would show something. And I'm not trying to reveal stuff at the beach. I mean, at the end of the day, I do want this to fit well, but it just wasn't working with how I wanted to fit me. I love the shape of this and this is exactly what I wanted a bikini just maybe a little bit of extra coverage in the front like if this just came up a little bit higher I think that would have been perfect like absolutely perfect the perfect amount of coverage here here and then like a slim sleek silhouette so I could hang out at the beach and not have to worry about like weird shapes on my body but unfortunately because of that I think I will be returning this it's just a shame because the bottoms fit really nice I was hoping that the top would fit nice too but alas it doesn't so my search continues I will gladly take recommendations if you guys have any let me know where you get simple sleek string bikinis that are black that you can wear to the beach that have minimal coverage on it so I can get a nice tan not have my boobies fall out my hunt for simple white heels also continues I usually don't stray into the mules realm of shoes just because I find that I need extra coverage case in point my sprained ankle right now from tennis this morning that literally got from just like standing around I need shoes that give me good ankle support and I thought that with the tiny heel here it wouldn't be too high that I could get away with it because I do like the look of a slip-on mule it looks really chic and elegant it's just not giving me enough coverage on the back so because it was low I thought it'd be great I love this in theory but when I tried it on I didn't quite like it I like the fact that this goes back a little bit more so it gives the ball of my foot some more like support and it hugs it a little bit but it's a really sharp edge here and when I bend my foot to walk this actually cuts in like the leather kind of gets quite tight on my feet and I think over a while I will slowly start to get blisters and cuts on my foot as it slowly rubs up against this so even though this is really chic literally the perfect heel that I could want the perfect silhouette color and everything and like the toe box it's just not not the right comfort for me up here. I don't want to risk cutting up my feet for another pair of shoes so unfortunately these will be going back to Mango. They are very cute though and if these types of shoes don't cut or hurt your feet then I would recommend picking them up. They're a great classic slim simple silhouette that I think will last in your closet for a long time. Did this girl try to go back and see if she could find some more mesh flats? Yes, yes she did and I found a pair that were actually really comfortable and they're really chic. So these are a beige pair with rhinestones all over them that I found off of Mango. Hear me out. I will rationalize with you guys why I like this. So first of all, very similar to my skin tone. I feel like it looks like one of those like nude flats, very reminiscent of the row ones. It's super comfortable. There's a lot of padding on the sole here and it's actually like a thicker, more plasticky mesh. So I'm not too, too worried of my feet rubbing up against here and cutting through it over time. It's quite durable, which is great. They also have a piping around the top edge here to provide a little bit of more like softening to your foot when you're rubbing up against this plastic because this feels like it probably could create blisters if you were to wear it without any sort of lining here. It's comfortable. It doesn't hurt the back of my heels. And I also love the little diamonds. Obviously, it's a little bit extra, but I think it's a nice little oomph and zhuzh if you're wearing this with a, like an all-white outfit. Very, very chic. Now, my only loss at this is that what happens if these start to fall off in the summer and you have an empty spot? It's going to look very freaking obvious. And that's also why I was against the Alaya ones that have the diamonds on it too. Like, why are you paying like $3,000 for shoes that are just going to fall apart and look weird? So even though I thought that Mango would be a little bit more affordable on the cheaper end, and it is, the minute one of these rhinestone falls off, off. It completely like ruins the look. It did not come with replaceable rhinestones. I think you could probably go to Walmart and buy them, but you're never going to guarantee it's going to be one, the same color or the same size. And then two, how are they applying this? Like you have to find the exact same type of glue so it doesn't leave a residue. I'm tempted to keep them. I'm very tempted. They're freaking cute, comfortable, and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them, but I think the dots just make it too trendy and the minute they fall off, I'm gonna hate it, I'm gonna hate myself. I need to rationalize. I think the smart decision would be to return these. The fun decision would be to keep them until the rhinestones fall off and then I give up, but then I'm just like wasting my money and shoes that I get annoyed at. I don't know. Give me time. I may come around to returning these, but they're so stinking cute in the meantime. It's hard to justify returning them when, ugh. I know I'm just gonna get mad at myself. So yes, be, be smart, Vic. Return the goddamn shoes. And in line with the whole mesh shoe saga, I did get myself a pair of black ones. These ones are really cute. It's a fabric mesh detailing. It's quite stretchy. I put them on. They're very, very comfortable again. I don't know what it is about Mango, but they make very comfortable shoes. If you're finding that Zara shoes are uncomfortable, step over to Mango. You'll find a lot more comfort in them. So I like the simple detailing on this. Now, the only thing that gets me is I don't know if I love the ankle strap detailing on 
this. You're gonna get a really weird tan as it is already wearing these types of shoes. I've had croc tans with little circles on your feet. If you're gonna get a mesh tan, mm -mm, not cute. So slather on the sunscreen before you wear this so that you can avoid getting a tan as much as possible because it will be weird. And add it onto the ankle strap. That's an added layer of a weird ass tan you do not want. So that's why I'm off put by this. You can take off the strap if you want. You can pull it through the little loop at the back here, but honestly, it's just gonna look weird to have a tab on the back of your shoe anyway. So I would just recommend wearing it with this. And then the only other thing that kind of grinds my gears a little bit is the fact that the ankle strap is a patent leather or like a plastic material. Same with the piping that goes around the top of the shoe here. It's also another patent leather. In the summertime, this is gonna get so sticky. It's gonna get rubbed up against your foot. It's gonna chafe and you're gonna get blisters. And this is coming from experience as somebody who's worn a lot of patent leather shoes. It's not great. I really wish, oh, and I'm already seeing a rip. Okay, these are going straight back to Mango because of the rip. I don't want a pair of ripped shoes already. They're really freaking cute, but the patent is gonna kill your feet. If they had done this in like some sort of satin gross grain ribboning, material, I think that would have been so much more forgiving and much more of a reason for me to keep this. Take this strap off, switch up this piping, and I probably would have kept these shoes. Fortunately, they're cute, but they're going straight back to Mango. I feel like this video started off on a really positive note with so many pieces that I loved and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep or not. Please, as always, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. As I said, I needed help with the first three. Which one should I keep? Which one should I return? Help be my voice of reason and let me know what I actually should keep because I do not need all three of them. And then everything else is going to be going back more or less just because it doesn't fit me, it doesn't look right, or the design is just like really awesome. Off. That is it for my little mango haul. I will link everything that I showed you guys down below in the description box. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you again for coming back and joining me on my channel. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Love you. Bye.